Hi, good afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to use the special analyzer to sweep my three antennas on the, in the attic and see its performance. Let me show you three antennas. This is the first antenna, it's the stock photo, so it's not the actual antenna in the attic. Uh, it's the Para OA50 uh, 6 meter band antenna. It's bit, uh, the frequency response is between 50 to 52 megahertz. And the uh, second one is uh, this antenna. This is the ground plane antenna. It's the UHF, VHF antenna. Uh, the third antenna um, is just a long wire. One wire is going in the cross space and another wire just uh, um, going to the attic. It's both wires uh, around uh, 50 feet and uh, uh, then these two wires join to my a Icon AH4 uh, antenna tuner. Uh, let me sweep the antenna and uh, show you its performance. The way I'm going to sweep the antenna is using the RF reflective bridge. This is the bridge, okay? Um, so the left side is the in uh, uh, this side is the input. And uh, the input signal goes to the antenna and the antenna bounces back to this port and uh, uh, come into my uh, special analyzer. And this is the dummy load. It's I, 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 I just use the dummy load to hold, uh, cut off this port. You, basically, you need uh, three ports only. And uh, now it's in the, uh, the track, uh, track generator is doing the work. So you can see the frequency. The frequency right now is from 48 megahertz here to 54 megahertz here. Uh, so it's basically covered the six meter band and uh, Let me normalize it Okay, now it's normalized Let's see the para OA um, 50 antenna that's a six meter band antenna. Let's see the, how, how it performs um, Okay, I'm going to hook the antenna here. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can see that uh, this antenna response uh, frequency. Um, Let's go to the 50, uh, 6 meter band, the beginning of the 6 meter band, is, uh, which is 50. Okay. Here is the... Uh, this is the 50 me uh, megahertz. So you can see that 50 megahertz, uh, the band starts here. So it's uh, 15 dB down. Uh, 15 dB down. It's uh, equivalent to, I don't know, let me check the table. Okay, uh, 15 dB down is about uh, 1.4 SWR. So here is 1.4 SWR. So it's continue here. And the, 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 here is the, uh, the lowest SWR. It's, a, it's a, like 20, uh, 27 dB down. It's around 1.08 then it goes up so so this band is covering at 15 uh, this is 1.4 SWR this location uh, let's see how how wide it can cover uh, it cover to 51.882 so basically this antenna is good from 15 megahertz to uh, 51.8 megahertz Anything above that is not that good. So this is uh, pretty good for the 60 meter. Let's take a look of the second antenna, which is uh, uh, my uh, UHF VHF antenna. Uh, let me uh, actually uh, let me let me show you the, the the long wire antenna first. 
long wire antenna is for not for six meter band. It's for um, one sixty uh, meter and uh, eighty meter all the way to fifty meter. It's, it can cover wide range. Let's look at the entire uh, frequency response for the long wire. Let me. Let me first set the frequency, start from 1 megahertz, start by 54 megahertz, and uh, uh, okay, now this is there, then I normalize it, okay, I bring it here, now let's hook the antenna on. Look at the long wire antenna. The long wire antenna, uh, this is a, uh, this is around uh, 160 uh, meter. Uh, let's first see these two values. Uh, these two values happen 31 megahertz. This is 31 megahertz, and another one is uh, uh, 43 megahertz. And for both this uh, frequency. Uh, there's not much uh, band you can transmit. Um, then all the other, I mean, even even at uh, the this uh, uh, deep valley is uh, thirteen dB. It's uh, uh, around. Uh, uh, let me check the SWR. It's around one point five six. Uh, not still not that good. And uh, let's look at the all the other bands is almost uh, uh, SWI is pretty bad until you hit a very low point here around four megahertz. Uh, you get a little bit gain, maybe still not good one dB. And uh, we're talking about. Uh, 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 SWR. This region is uh, this region is 20, 20 SW, uh, SWR and this region is huge and this is uh, 1.5 and this two region are not uh, useful for ham radio. The useful part is here and they are pretty lousy. So we can see that the long wire is really not functioning. It's uh, not good at all. And now let's look at the the tram one four one one antenna, which is UHF VHF antenna. Okay, first let me set the UHF uh a VHF starting point. Let's start by one forty megahertz and stop at uh, one fifty. Yeah, the actual uh, VHF is one I believe it's one forty four to one forty eight. So I I give a little bit. Uh, allowance there. Okay, now let me normalize that. Okay, now let me put the antenna in. This is again, this is a trend one, one four one one antenna. Okay, well, it's pretty good. It's quite flat during the entire region, it's around 12 to. I, I would say this is this is a ten. This is not that good. Uh, this is one forty one. Normally we transmit one forty two. I I normally like one forty six region. Uh, I normally transmit in this region. So it, it's around of, let's say fifteen. So fifteen is around one point four SWR. And uh, this region is pretty good. Uh, uh one forty eight is is outside. So the VHF is from here to here. So where uh, the this uh, tram antenna is around one point four. Let's uh, look at uh, the uh, UHF region. Uh, the frequency is uh, f starting frequency is four hundred. Uh, let's do four hundred. 
and the stop frequency that's to 460 and uh, okay let me normalize it okay Yeah, the frequency is jumping, so uh, it's uh, it's around four to four fifty. Mm. Yeah, the frequency is jumping. So on average is uh, twelve. Uh, twelve. Let me see the twelve. Um, twelve is around one point six. Uh, SWR. Uh, so basically, the UHF. Sometimes I can uh, send very good signals like four twenty three. Uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, the SWR is pretty good. Uh, uh, twenty two dB. It's around one point one. This here is one point one. It's at the four twenty three, and uh, go further. Oh, this is not the band. Um, let, let me four twenty to four fifty. That's the actual band. You can see that uh, uh, in general, uh, if you transmit like uh, for me, I like to transmit at the four forty something. Four forty. Yeah, like 440 or something, and uh, the SWR is uh, 17. Um, 17 is uh, around 1 1.2, 1 1.3 SWR. Uh, so we have checked the three antennas. Um, the conclusion is that the long wire is really garbage. Unless you have the antenna tuner, I will show in the next video, I will show you the, the function of the antenna tuner. The long, long wire is basically garbage. And the tram uh, VHF UHF is okay, and uh, the para is doing pretty good. Um, if you check the actual one, you might find uh, if you check yours, uh, your your antenna performance must be better than mine because uh, uh, between this uh, terminal and my antenna, I have uh, maybe fifty feet cable run. And uh, most of the cable is RG6 cable, uh, which is uh, cheap, uh, but not uh, 75 ohm uh, impedance. So it's not really for the ham uh, operation, but it's so cheap. So I use this cheap RG6. Uh, that's why my my signal, um, uh, my frequency response should be the bottom line, uh, should be the worst. Uh, for your reference, yours are uh, definitely better than mine uh, because you have maybe shorter run and you use all the 50 ohm impedance cable and uh, um, yeah. Okay, uh, good night.